Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Owens Field Studio. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to be designing a simple um, drill logo. So first, just going to have to get the text tool and just type out our letters, which is just going to be drill spelled with D R. It's only the D will be capital. Okay, and then you're just gonna have to make the text bigger. So you just come over to the properties panel and just make it bigger like this. And we have D R I L L R. Now we're gonna we're gonna have to pick a font that we're gonna use for this logo. So let's just go to our, our fonts over here and you can have a go down them like this, or if you have if you have a name, you can just click it. So we're gonna use the font uh, Anthony. So let's just bring this font up, and just in case you want to ever want to change the font, it's just simple. Just delete uh, this here. Just cancel, shift, delete, and all right. Just hold down O and drag it to duplicate it. Now, when we bring our R over here, we just get a uh, drill, turn it into an outline. And what we're going to design with this is not complicated at all. So let's just ungroup it so we have all our individual uh, letters that can be selected individually. Let's just make this just a tad bit bigger. It's not like it's too small. And then they and just click Ctrl Z. Uh, let's just bring this down a little. Okay. Okay. Like that okay so now that we have our um, basics which is just a drill word we're gonna use this r to put some styling onto it so so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the pen tool just zoom in a little and we're just gonna make a line going up it like this make it square at the top come down like this and then what we're going to do is zoom in a little, just change the color white because we're, and we're going to break it out. So when it's white and the background's white, you can actually see how it would look. So first let's just zoom in and hold the, hold on the keyboard control and you get these circles here. We're just going to drag them to make the edge round like this. And just drag this down a little bit like there. And we'll just duplicate it and make it bigger. No problem is it, it whole thing gets bigger. So let's just make it bigger like that, and the whole thing gets thicker, which isn't what we want. So we're just gonna have to go back to the pen tool and make another line, and same thickness as it. It's around that much, and because this one cuts off at both edges, we don't actually need to um to round it because you won't really actually see the difference, and it's, we don't want it. We might let's see. Let's just round it, and I'll show you. You get these corner pieces here, and we don't want them. We want to just go fully through. Turn Z. Well, we could we could use the corner pieces. Okay, let's just put the corner pieces back. Then we're just going to duplicate and drag it down once like this, and again. And just to make sure they have the same amount of space in between them, we're just going to select all four of them and come over to um, our alignment panel over here. And just... First, let's just align them on a straight line like this. And as you can see, they now cut off over there. So what we're going to have to do is push them forward. And then it will be okay, okay like this. Now selecting them. And just push them forward one more time. Okay. So now selecting them. And just come first. As you can see, when I've selected all of them. This has a little something wrong with its um the way it is uh it's rounded. So let's just go to properties panel and just twist it a bit. Same amount of twist as this as the rest of them. That looks like the same amount. So let's just select them again and come over to our alignment tool panel. And we're gonna come over to this bottom two over here. So now there's one where it has a space in between. And in between um, left and right, and there's one up and down. We're going to need the up and down one here. So if we could just select, what we're going to do is we're going to just click on another line again. And then we can have we have this um, form here which we can type in. So it's going to lift up to around 10%. And as you can see, it spaces it out them all 10% away from each other. 
and 10% is too big, so we don't want 10%. So let's just take it down to around 4%, and 4% is also too big. So let's do try 1%, and 1% is also too big. But never mind, because now we can just do it manually, and it will still have the same space in. So what we're going to do is 1, 1, no, I'll select that and select this, 1, and the same with this, 1. But first, just going to do it one more time, because uh, not 1, though, we're just going to, uh, don't click on shift and we're just going to type click the up arrow key one two three four five without holding shift like before we're holding shift one two three four five one two three four five now we're going to hold this and copy and paste and bring it down and go into the properties panel and just flip it so it's like this flip it again so it's like this and then we're going to bring it up one and two about this much away from first let's just do all again do um this uh alignment all again because obviously it still looked equal but we never know whether it's equal or not and just to make sure that it's equal we're just gonna have to redo it and it's not really hard or anything so shouldn't bother us at all and what i've done is I've just done it and it hasn't messed them up like one percent it's just gave them equal spacing if you don't, if like select on everything and then let's bring these down. I'll show you what I mean. Like this, and then you select on everything and you just click it. What it does is it gives them all equal spacing into the width of how much this blue bar around it is, which is really cool rather than giving it a percentage to put away from each other. Okay, so let's click Control and Z. Uh, so it's this nice small percentage. Now what we're going to do, the R has this like sort of drilly effect. So let's just bring it down because that's a little too high. We're going to also add a little pointy bit at the edge of the R so the drilly effect can be a little more um, re real when it has this point. So we'll just click on the pen tool and as you can see, when you go over it, it has this, let's just zoom in so you, in case you can't see. The pen tool has this add sign around it. This add sign, if you just click there, adds another. Just, uh, select it one more time. Come over to the pen tool. Just add. It adds another node. So now when you come over to the node selections, whereas before there were two because it's one square, I've added a third. So we can just bring that up like this and just push it into the middle. And with this round piece here, and selecting it, go to that the properties where it says corners. We're just going to round it around 10%. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Five percent is nice because you don't want it so sharp and pointy at every edge. Now, this is a drill, our drill logo. I did say it was going to be easy and simple. Now, other things that you could do to advance it, but this is actually really nice. But first, we're just going to have to um, just bring these down a little more so it can be more into it like this rather than just up in the sky I don't know really know what's doing there and we can also change the nodes if you just come over to here and select on these two nodes um these two we can also make them round as well one two three four five uh all the square nodes just one two three four five just everywhere one two three four five and same to the bottom one two three four five we'll do the same to the eye and basically just do it to every letter inside uh inside our logo one two three four five and every make sure you're selected because as you can see i was bringing the nodes up when I didn't want to, I went around it. So make sure you select it on the form, one, two, three, four, five, and just keep going. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, we'll see. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So now we don't need to mess with these nodes because they're already rounded. So let's just go over to the D and select some these two and just one, two, three, four, five, and same with its inner two. Over here, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I guess never, never need to mess with those. So let's just round these as well. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and same to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. 
if you just zoom in so you can get a better view and just click on this click a one two three one two three four three, four, four. one two three four okay so click uh let's just level i'm just the same for this never mind something strange going on right now but you never actually need to mind about the inside of the D because you actually would want that to be a, a kind of um, a little sharp because then you can actually get a better view on what's going on. Like you can see it's a D more. Obviously, it was easy to see it's a D when it was um, rounded, but never. But I just believe it would be better to make it sharp. So now what I've just done is I've just grouped it. We have, we have our two versions. We have our rounded version and our sharp version. I just believe on a sharp version, this will also be sharp. So we're just going to take the um, round of this sharp like that. Uh, I would make these sharp. Let's just try and see what will happen if these are sharp. So select, hold down, control, and just sharpen them. Uh, I personally like the rounded version a whole lot more. Um, both, both really. Even when these are rounded on the square version, I still like when the whole word is rounded like this. We just delete this top one. We don't have to if you like it. Obviously, if you like it, then just keep it and just do what I'm doing with this to this. You don't have to delete it. Now I'm just going to go to the side. Let me see. It was a really easy logo. Another thing you might want to do just in case for any sort of transparency or anything like that is just to ungroup, select, and just break these out a bit. And send it to the back. Break these out. Send it to the back. Let's see. Since it was done, it's because it's now two objects because I've broken it like that. So now two objects, so we're gonna to have to break them out again. That's also two objects. Just make sure you ungroup it when it becomes two objects, or it's really gonna mess up. Take that out. Obviously, you can group it again when you get back to it, and then just break this one as well. Now, now you have the whole broken thing. Just group it again, so it's now one object. Just bring it over here. Okay, so now as you can see, it's basically just this, this font with some lines inside it. Obviously, this one rounded a bit, but it doesn't really change much. Okay, so now we're going to have to bake these ones as well. So let's just ungroup. Uh, ungroup. And just break. Make sure you send it back to the back. And then break back to the back and then on group the keyboard in case you don't know what the the keyboard shortcut for um back to center an object to the back what it is it's control shift and opening back open closing yes opening curly brackets and send it to the front will be closing curly brackets and the shortcut to group and ungroup is control control and g will group and control shift and g would ungroup And uh, so now they're all broken. Let's just group it. Zoom out. Let's see. And then just come over to the rectangle tool and just make a rectangle the same size as canvas. And go to the over to the colors. I'm just going to change the color to a nice bright yellow like this. Send it to the back. I think black looks really good on yellow. Like, I think it looks really good. So let's just group that and make it bigger. Especially black logos like this and on a yellow background, it looks really good to me. So that's why I've picked these colors, black and yellow. Um, and basically, this is it. This is uh, a really simple and easy way. You can just make a word logo, which, uh, word mark logo. It's just for a drill in company, whatever you want to make a drill. 
There are so many different ways you can implement this if you was for um, some other sort of band, like let's say it was for uh, some, uh, anything else, really. You could make that drill instead of a drill a pencil. You could do anything with these kinds of logos. And they're not really that hard anyway. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel. If you have anything to say, leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you.